Hmm. Can you hear that? That is the noise coming from the air conditioner in front of me. I'm so sorry for the audio. It's so terrible, I know. But today, I'm super excited to share with you some uh, vlogging gear or gadgets I purchased just to make some improvement on my video outputs, especially the sound, as well as a uh, few items from Sephora. So stay tuned. Welcome back. My name is MC. I'm into luxury, fashion, and lifestyle. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I invite you to subscribe and don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you won't miss out all the videos I upload. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. So, this is the Sephora package I received last week. I purchased this a few weeks ago and while I open it, please watch the short video clip it's the unboxing of the vlogging gears I picked and all the descriptions including the prices I'm going to include in the description box below. So I have here three items I purchased from Sephora. They're from different brands. This one is a repurchased item, so I'm going to show you in a while. But let me show you the freebies or the samples they gave. I don't know, every time I buy from them, they always give samples. So let me know if you also uh, receive the same. This one is a an F-Bomb Electrolyte water facial mask hydratant so it's a facial mask it looks like so and then a saffron hair elixir called june persian secrets it's a pistachio and rose hair oil i also got a sample of the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion it looks like this they are in here. I actually love their uh, eyeshadow primer. I'm using one. I've been using one. And I, in fact, included it in the description box below. So you can check if you're interested. So the first purchase is this Revitalash, Revital Brow Advanced Conditioner. It's from Revitalash Cosmetics, of course. I can say uh, enough how much I love this product. I have personally proven and tested it. You can see the difference before and now. I'm still not wearing anything on my brows. I did a review about this product and I highly, highly recommend this. The reason why I repurchased this is because I just wanted to uh, see how much more it can give. Although I am quite satisfied with the result, with how my eyebrows grew since the first container or bottle I purchased has been consumed and it took a while uh, for this package to arrive my usage has stopped for about 
two to three weeks more or less but I don't see any drawback since I stopped and I believe that this uh, eyebrow conditioner here is really worth the price so it is recommended that you only apply once a day every night before you sleep and applying more will not give you benefits so just apply once right now i'm using the revital lash conditioner on my lashes that's why maybe you notice my makeup is looking weird <laughs> uh, in this video because of the absence of uh, mascara or eyelash extensions which i'm used to wearing <laughs> in the past now it's already my fourth day of using the revital lash uh, conditioner and I'm going to make a review about that in the future and show you the result. Next we have the Eat Cosmetics. It's your skin but better CC plus color correcting full coverage cream plus hydrating and anti-aging concealer. Oh that's that's quite long. So this is a color correcting full foundation coverage with anti-aging benefits and SPF 50 UVA UVB uh, broad spectrum protection that delivers seven products all in one seven products all in one i love that so it's full coverage foundation brightening uh, color and corrector hydrating and anti-aging serum poreless finish primer it's also a dark spot concealer and moisturizing day cream i think this is multitasking uh, makeup product which is must have for instant uh, complexion perfection it is developed with a plastic surgeon best-selling award-winning and beauty miracle what it can do for the skin it delivers clinically tested hydration for flawless look that won't crease or crack i love that and one of the things i love about this is the hyaluronic acid it has and this cream is best used after prepping prepping the face of course and just like your regular foundation you can apply using a brush but i'll try to figure out if it can also be applied using just my fingers so i picked the shade light medium but you can pick whatever shade uh, suits you in the website and the reason why i bought this is because i wanted a go-to everyday wear makeup this is good if i don't want to go heavy with my regular foundation and with the skin benefits to it it's perfect i think this uh, is perfect for my needs as well the last item is this dear dahlia it's the allure shine lustrous plumper lipstick it's so tiny <laughs> i can hardly read it and when i saw the packaging in the website i fell in love with it it looks luxury like its price <laughs> the price is in the description box guys so it looks like this the color is like uh, dark pink with shimmer I'm not sure how pigmented this is when applied uh, on the lips because I'm wearing a dark lipstick so I don't want to try it this one is in the shade temptation it's kind of dark pink by looking at it. It is uh, sheer and moisturizing with multi-dimensional shine for glamorous lips based on the website. This one has natural plumping ingredients that create instant lip volume and look as well. And it also says in the website that this is without drying or flaking. Let's see. I don't, I'm not really fan of the packaging. It looks nice, uh, but for real, in person, I'm not sure. Considering the price, it's kind of disappointing a bit. But what I love about this lipstick or lip bumper here is it's 100% uh, vegan and cruelty free. It is enriched with certified organic ingredients, so it is safe, I believe. And you know, we just want a little volume to add uh, some oomph, don't you? So, 
that wraps up our video for today thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you have any question or suggestion regarding the video or any topics you want me to discuss don't forget to uh, leave them in the comment section down below i'll get back to you as soon as i can i'll see you in my next one